If you look at my channel, you know that I play a lot of games. But one thing I like more than video games is movies. You've seen some of my videos. Maybe one. Maybe eleven. At probably alam nyo na siguro na movie is a big part of my life. That's why you see me uploading weeb ass content here on YouTube. But there is one genre of film that piqued my interest. And that's horror films. The atmosphere, the suspense, the gore and the grittiness, story, that what set the standard of a horror film. From Chucky slowly walking in front of the camera, the spider crawling scene of The Exorcist G still makes my skin crawl. And Glenn's bloody death on Nightmare on Elm Street. That, that, that type of moments. At naamoy ko na ang copyright claim sa video na to, but at this point, I don't give a shit. Since we are in the season of Spooktober, might as well pag-usapan natin ngayon is about horror movies. Horror movies na hindi ka pinatulog kasi paranoid ka pa rin na meron nakatingin sa'yo habang natutulog ka, holding a kitchen knife, mga ganong scenario. But until recently, the horror genre made its comeback. Nakita na natin ang mga awesome title kagaya ng Trade to Busan, It, Cabin in the Woods, and most recently, A Quiet Place. And it seemed the genre still doesn't die. Whether the people like it or not, and the good thing is we get some new fresh ideas every new movie came out. And I think horror genre is yung pinaka importating genre when it comes to films. At itong genre is highly underrated and considered ng karamihan is cheesy, but I think wala sa genre yan. It is just because people watch a lot of bad horror movies. Not the bees! Ah! Out of my eyes! Ah! You know the crap one na mina market dito sa Pinas. <coughs> Filipino horror movies. <coughs> Mga sequel ng film that we didn't even like. I'm looking at you, Train to Busan, Peninsula. And filling the entire movie with a lot of jump scares and suspense. That you didn't even understand the story of the film. Kasi palagi na lang ganito. At yun yung mga shitty horror movies na ni Kailan di ka natakot kundi natawa ka na lang kagaya ng Human Centipede and Piranha 3D. But there's a lot of successful movie that dominates other movie genres. Sadyang natatakpan lang talaga ng mga bad horror ang genre. At hindi lang sa movie nakikita ang horror, we can see it everywhere in video games from The Last of Us and the Resident Evil franchise. At sa lahat na kinukonsider ang Five Nights of Freddy's na horror game, putang ina nyo, it's not even a horror game. What I found is just a jump scare simulator. Bullshit. Bullshit. Take my word with a grain of salt because it's true, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the importance of a horror genre as a whole and give you guys hope na meron pang mabuting hinaharap ang horror. And without sounding like I have a better taste in movies from other people. But saying that makes me more sound like a pompous asshole. So... You know... Fuck me, right? In film, horror movie is not a high budget film. Unlike sa mga ibang movies that they spend like a million of dollars but in the end, it's still a shit movie. That's why mga aspiring film directors try on horror movies. Take Zack Snyder for example. You know, the guy who make Justice League even better. At alam nyo kung saan siya nagsimula? Dawn of the Dead remake, which is a horror genre. But in terms of monetary, horror films is not that expensive. At kung minsan nga nagiging doble o triple pa ang balik sa kita ng movie, and it became the highest grossing movie, kagaya ng It, na merong budget lang na 30 million dollars. And you know Hollywood's gonna milk that shit. And don't let me start on the 80s movie because there's a fuck ton of horror movies in that era. From Halloween, Friday the 13th, Nightmare at Elm Street, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And some zombie slashers like 28 Days Later and Dawn of the Dead remake is a success and follow up with the undying zombie craze. So it's like Battle Royale in video games. One does really well, so the industry milked that shit. Battle Royale!
and all that movie might not be good, but at least they still get their money out of it. Ang horror genre is basically the backbone of the film industry. Pero ang horror movies not only gives us good directors, but also some good actors and actresses. Because like I said a while ago, that some of them started in horror genre. Why? Because horror genre is in your face. You spread right into your mouth. Leading it's also easy to market and it takes a lot of skill to create something well done. Tingin ko lang muna dito is yung first ever horror movie na napanood ko, which is so. And at that time, I was so traumatized seeing blood everywhere, people getting their ribcage open, decapitated hands, decapitated legs. But did you know Jigsaw or let's say John Kramer is my favorite character of all time? Because for me, his action is justifiable. I'm not a psychopath or anything, but because some of people deserve those kind of shit. Take Jigsaw's quote for example. Those who don't appreciate life do not deserve life. That still today is pinanghawakan ko. And every time I watch that scene, it gave me goosebumps. I think just because Jigsaw's cold and deep voice. Horror movies is not something na, ah, lalagyan ko lang to ng maraming jump scare after jump scare para lang maging magandang horror movies. No. Sample na lang, Paranormal Activity. If you have watched it again, it's really not scary at all. But the first time we ever watch it, we are preparing for something to jumping in front of the camera. Kasi alam na natin na, ah, siguro may lalabas dito. Kasi nung bata tayo, naalala nyo ba? Nung nabait tayo ng mga kaibigan natin manood ng kotse na sinusundan, tapos sa huli mayroong zombie na bubulaga. Mga ganong jump scares. Pero sa paranormal activity, wala. Wala kayong nakita or anything popped up. It's pretty much poltergeist stuff happening. And that what atmosphere gives our imagination to kick in. There's so much against horror films. They don't have the large budget. They don't have the best actor and actresses. They don't have the best equipment. But what they do have is the love for the genre. And with the low budget, they are free to take risks and explore new possibilities to make it a good movie, which is the core of filmmaking. So if the industry takes horror seriously, we're probably gonna get some memorable acting. Garbage day! No. Horror films are gross. They can have the best special effects placed in their movies. Like, look at that. Jeez, that's disgusting, but also very cool. Because of the disgusting shit happening in front of the screen, they have to face the biggest enemy of horror movies, which is the MPAA. To more about MPAA, I suggest watching a documentary about it. But to put it more simple, in order na makita ng wider audience, para hindi ka magkaroon ng X rating or NR17 but in fact, you don't know how the fuck MPAA works Compare it like YouTube Kung makita mo na may ad restriction or violate against YouTube terms and service it's basically like that At sa mga gustong pumasok sa YouTube industry I highly suggest basahin nyo muna yung YouTube terms and service para wala na kayong problema in the future Okay? You know to censor out some inappropriate scenes because in horror movies, there's a lot of boobies. Lots of boobies. Big the hunger of the boogaroos. Whenever I talk about my friends at tinatanong ko sa kanila if kung anong opinion nila about horror films, a lot of time they say it's too scared to watch. Well, it's although kinda true, but it's not. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! There are a lot of horror movies that keep me still in love in the genre. Horror films aren't always scaring the living shit out of you. In fact, that's probably what I didn't like about the movie. Because there's no rewatchability. But the movie Cabin in the Woods, 28 days later, saw it. Those type of movies I would watch over and over again. Horror movies is the best towing of humor and horror. Some scenes gives us the laughs, terrified the next, and the last cheering of the last survivor in the finale, you've gotten an awesome and compelling story. Comedy and horror is also kinda stupid but kinda the same thing. Because we have this thing called dark comedy from meddling in some suicide jokes and going into super fantasy like in Cabin in the Woods. Horror is a lot of time funny, absurd, and ridiculous, just like most comedies. Think of it like it's a haunted house, right? At first, takot kayo, but pag matapos, magsisitawan na lang kayo. Kasi if we jump scare our friends, you know, pagkatapos natin sila gulatin, is they gonna say this line. <laughs> you really scared me. But, 
if paulit-ulit na natin ginagawa yun, it slowly turn into be annoying. All about this video is all my opinion with the genre. That I want to share with you why I still come back to this type of movies. Whether gonna gusto nyo or hindi, it's up to you. It doesn't really matter because every genre is valuable in the film industry. And that is what amazing about this art form. It's all subjective but I hope you have at least have a respect to the horror genre. And if you're still skeptic about it, give it a chance. And while pinapanood nyo, think to yourself, is it gonna scare me? Or there's something more to it?